So we got the fire going. Finally. Amazing how they do it. Um, they pour uh, grease over it. Well, they get it burning pretty hot first. And then they pour fork grease over it instead of lighter fluid. Um, that just amazes me, you know. I guess it makes up for the plastic fumes, but on this fire, they made sure the plastic could all burn up. But, um, I don't know, I'll let you know how it tastes. We're gonna have, uh, we're having pork ribs for, din for lunch or dinner. Uh, we got a nice little storm coming. Um, uh, we got a brownout. No internet, no no electricity. Oh, it's more fun in the Philippines, right? I, I kind of noticed. I kind of noticed that uh, Dumaguete, you would think have would have better internet, but I, I'm convinced. And behold, they got better internet. You know, Brian might say, you know, our internet's so slow. Man, it ain't slow. And it might have something to do with the antenna. I don't know. We got an antenna that's sticking a little bit out of the bushes over here. Uh, let's see if I can turn around and show you it. That's... That is our... Uh, I believe that's our cable. Pretty cheesy, huh? But it works. You know, we get some cheesy lights up. But, uh... We got we have lights, and not a lot of people in this neighborhood have lights. But uh, we got family coming over tomorrow. Uh, I think after Papa and I and Noel, we go out to the cockfights, and we're gonna bet on who's the better chicken. Baka, bak, 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 bak. Yeah, that's what we're gonna do. I don't know if I'm gonna get you filmed from then, but. Um, we're gonna to try to do. We're gonna to try to do what we can. Um, I don't want to get any graphic material and get demonetized. Well, you know, I don't have to worry about demonetization. But you know, in the future, if I do get monetized, you know, what can we do? And there's, there's my cousin. She's 17. Uh, she don't have school till Monday, and she's cooking. You know, that's what Filipinas do in, in, in the Philippines. We're a tight knit family. You know, I, I, I can't I can't emphasize too much about family. You know, you got to come here and see it. You get you get a hold of a good family with a good wife, and your family loves you, and your wife loves you. There ain't no greater feeling, man. They'll do anything for you, and you'll do anything for them. And it's just the way it is. And I, I know Tom. No, Tom and Ruth, they're in Mindanao there, and they're, they probably have the same thing. You know, all over the Philippines, the same thing. You get with a bad, you get a, you get with a bad Filipina. Well, normally the family's bad too. That's why you got to meet the family first. You meet the family first. You see where she grew up. Um, yada, yada. And uh, you kind of get the gist. You get the gist of what your future wife, how she grew up. And it, it's, just, it's just a known fact that uh, a lot of province girls are, even though they're living in Dumaguete or... Cebu or Manila or CDO, they still grew up in the they still grew up in the the, the province and and uh, that's what you get. You get a mountain girl or you get a province girl, and uh, sometimes you just, sometimes the simplicity is too simple that you're still going. Oh, I don't know. Oh. Don't, don't go, oh, I don't know. Go, 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 man. Get her. Marry that girl.
Now marry that girl. And she says, oh, baby, don't worry about money. My family, my family has money. You know, there's 10 to 1 chance that her family doesn't have the kind of money you have. And, uh, the meaning they, uh, they got three pigs and they'll give up that one or two pigs, you know, to feed you and to make you happy, you know, celebrate. So you're like, they got one pig left. How you kind of feel guilty because you want to, you, you, you want some good lechon, you know, but you know, it's like that. It's like that with me. It's like, oh, no, 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 we'll, we'll buy some. Okay, we eat two pigs, I buy 20. Papa Grom. Papa's a farmer, so. Uh, we just happen to be over here. See, you can see my uh, lovely fire trees. I got another fire tree right there. That thing, I swear to God, that thing almost looks like a bonsai tree. It's not a bonsai tree, but we know it. But it's got that figure, you know. I want a bonsai tree. I want to get some bonsai trees in here. I just, uh, I'm just a fan of bonsais, you know. Uh, oh, on one property we got four coconut trees, enough to enough to plunge in us plenty. But uh, I, I met the neighbors around, and we got some good neighbors here. I, 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 I think. I think I like it. I like it. I think I like it here. You know, we got a half mile to the store, but what can you say? Oh, guess who, who I got with me? You got three animals. Huh? You got three animals. I'm talking to the camera. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's my little buddy. That's Joshua. Everywhere I go, Josh is behind me. I can dig it, man. That's my little buddy. I'm the skipper, and Josh is uh, Gilligan, I guess. <laughs> uh, the, okay, long joke. But um, we're getting smoked out by this fire. But, man, I'm telling you what, you good thing you ain't got smell-o-vision, because uh, that stuff's smelling good. I woke up this morning, I go, oh, I smell bacon. I get up and they're frying the hell out of some fish and some bacon grease. I'm like, these are my kind of people. I'm like, oh, hell yeah. Anyways, you got to taste it to appreciate it, okay? Uh, I love you all, man. I, I, this is my afternoon. It's afternoon here. We say mayon hapon. And... Um, we love y'all. Like, share, subscribe. And don't forget to comment. I love your comments. I've been seeing all your comments. Give me time, guys. I got to get some better internet. Right now, I, I get on and start answering, and internet goes out. Or I got like eight people on the internet. Or I got the whole Baron guy on the internet. It's not easy being cheesy. Anyways, I love you all, man. I'll talk to you a bit. Stay cool, stay classy, stay yourself, and always stay humble. Love you, bye.